Hi, I'm Bruce from SNS Cycle. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the initial setup and basic adjustment of an SNS Super ERG carburetor. Other videos are available to cover the carb installation for various engine styles and still others that cover the actual jetting. In this video, we're just going to focus on the initial setup. It doesn't matter what kind of bike your carb is on because the procedure is the same. If you have an SNS Super B or D carb, you'd follow the same procedure, except with these carbs you wouldn't have to adjust the accelerator pump since they don't have one. Before we start twisting wrenches on the bike, let's take a look at where the adjustments are and verify the factory settings. Keep in mind that the factory settings are just the starting point that allow the engine to start and run. If you're working on a bike that already has an SNS carb installed, you can consider this procedure to be a sort of reset button that gives you a known starting point. So let's get started. First we have the idle mixture screw. This controls how much fuel is fed to the engine at idle. On some carb designs, the idle mixture screw controls additional air at idle, but with SNS carburetors, this screw controls fuel. To confirm factory settings, turn the idle mixture screw until it seats lightly. Don't try to show how strong you are because you'll probably ruin the car by cracking the metal around where the needle seats. A light touch is required. No gorillas allowed. Once the needle is seated, turn it out about one and a quarter turns. Next we turn the idle speed adjustment screw out or counterclockwise until it no longer touches the throttle stop. The throttle plate will be totally closed at this point. Turn the screw clockwise until it just touches the throttle stop. But wait, we're not done. Turn it an additional one half turn, opening the throttle plate enough to allow the engine to idle. Next we adjust the accelerator pump. Turn the accelerator pump adjusting screw all the way in until it seats lightly. Again, no gorillas. Now turn it out about two full turns. Again, this is just a starting point. We've just installed a Super E carb on this 1977 FXE and we're going to go through the initial setup procedure to show how it works. As we said, the factory settings allow the engine to start and run. So we start it up and run the engine until it reaches operating temperature. The best way to do that is to take a short ride. It's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. Adjusting the carb when the engine is fully warmed up is critical, because if you make your adjustments on a cold or partially warm engine, it will run too rich when it reaches operating temperature. Normally these adjustments would be done with the air cleaner installed, but we're going to remove it to make it easier to see the adjustments. Also, it's important to note that idle adjustments should be done in a well-ventilated area to avoid the accumulation of potentially dangerous exhaust gases. With the engine fully warmed up and idling, the first step is to adjust the idle speed by turning the idle speed screw clockwise to increase the idle speed or counterclockwise to slow it down. We recommend that you set your idle at about 1000 RPM. Now a lot of guys think it's cool to set the idle really low to get that lumpy loping idle, but there are several good reasons not to do that. First of all, that lumpy idle is hard on your lower end because of the uneven torque spikes and the low oil pressure. Secondly, it will make off idle throttle response, well, less responsive. Next we adjust the idle mixture. Turn the idle mixture screw slowly clockwise. This makes the mixture leaner. If the engine speeds up, the mixture was too rich. Keep turning the screw clockwise until the engine begins to slow down because the mixture is too lean. Note the position of the needle and begin turning it counterclockwise until the engine reaches maximum RPM. Keep turning the screw counterclockwise until the engine slows down because the mixture is too rich. Set the needle halfway between too lean and too rich. Chances are adjusting the idle mixture will change the idle speed. So we need to repeat the last two steps. If the settings were way off, we may need to go through this procedure a couple of times. That's usually due to an inexperienced tuner making improper adjustments. Take your time and make sure this is dead on, because correct idle speed and mixture adjustments are critical to easy starting, especially for kickstarting. For you youngsters, kickstarting is where you actually start your engine by pushing down on the pedal with your foot. Crude but effective. 
Once the idle speed and mixture are set correctly, we adjust the accelerator pump. Again, with the engine fully warmed up and at idle, turn the accelerator pump screw all the way in to shut off the pump. If you crack the throttle now, the engine is likely to stumble or cough. So turn the accelerator pump adjusting screw out one quarter turn at a time and crack the throttle to check response. Repeat this process until the engine responds smoothly to the throttle. And then we're done with the initial setup of the Super E carburetor. So that's the initial setup of the SNS Super E or G carburetor. As I mentioned, this is normally done during a new carb installation, but it's also a good first step for troubleshooting an existing carb. Keep in mind that we haven't done any actual jetting of the carburetor yet. That's the subject of the next video in this series called SNS Super ENG Carb Basic Jetting, where we'll optimize the performance of the engine by changing jets in the carb. We hope this video has helped you get the job done, and we hope to see you on the road, not on the side of it.